What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best build for Beckenbauer. So you can get this Beckenbauer for free. It'll just take you a little bit of time and a bit of luck. Also, I have a full video done on this of how to get him and how to maximize your chances of getting him early doors so that you can train him in and get a really good player into your squad. Especially if you're starting off or you haven't been playing the game so long, you will be able to just get 21 free spins at Beckenbauer over the next 21 days, but you'll also be able to do campaign objectives. And we talk about that in the quickest way of doing it in a specified video that you will see pop up here and in the description below. Also, on top of that as well, I have two builds here for Beckenbauer from this pack. We've got a CB Beckenbauer and a DMF Beckenbauer. It's part of a 50 box here that you see. And listen, Beckenbauer's a really good card. There is a couple of weaknesses with him. There's a couple of pros and cons to him. Um, but I definitely think that he is a good, solid card, depending on how you want to play him. He's down as a build-up centre-back, so he's going to be a little bit more passive than a, a defensive destroyer, such as Rudiger. He's kind of like Saliba. He's not as tall, he's not as strong. The problem with build-up is, usually build-up are your, like your taller guys. You can see his booster here as well. He's getting a boost to his acceleration. This is why a lot of people are playing him as a DMF. The only problem with playing him as a DMF is that he's a little bit more passive than an anchorman or a destroyer or even a box-to-box -box in DMF um, to a lesser degree. But I do definitely think that he is a good card. It's definitely how you're going to be training him up and how you're going to be playing him. I would say that he's recommended for a possession-based play style, or else a long ball counter where you're able to kind of drop him deep and have him as a sweeper. We've got both builds for that, so not to worry, we will cover everything here. And if you did miss out on how to get him, I have that full video out there already, right? Now, skills-wise, we'll touch on that at the end of the video. He does have pretty much everything you could possibly want, apart from one or two, aerial superiority being the main one. But I do honestly think that this guy is going to be all about how you build him up and how you train him up effectively to use him if you're playing in a system. If, what I mean by playing in a system is a lot of people just play off the cuff, you know, a lot of one-touch passing, a lot of meta-style stuff. If you're playing a system, you need to retain possession of the ball and recycle the ball. And this is where centre-backs that are built up uh, with the player style and they've also got good technique can actually dominate if you don't get turned over in possession because that's what you need to do. So the first build that we're going to look at here, as ever when we are building lads, I don't really take the manager boost into consideration because a lot of people are using Alonso and Guardiola. It's going to give you a plus three to pretty much every stat once it's over 85. So for example, with this Beckenbauer build, it's still a very solid build even without any manager boost and any team boost, right? Any of the boost at all from his known personal booster or the manager booster, whether it's, you know, Pep, Alonso, Ten Hag, uh, Xavi, anybody, right? It doesn't really matter or Klopp or any of them, okay? This is an extremely good build that you see here. It's a very defensive build with 15 into defending. You're going to have his defensive awareness and you're going to want that as high as possible. That is essentially what you want to do with this card. He's going to be your kind of passive sit back very good center back that is just able to draw the ball forward or else cover back when your destroyer has gone off a little bit wandering if you're playing with Rudiger or somebody. The next build is going to be a DMF build which I'm calling a hybrid sweeper. Now this guy has still got defense, he's got 11 into defense, you can see the build down here, but it's more about being an all-rounder. This is a very unique card, especially when you build him up with, with some training skills uh, or some skill training, sorry. When you have it here, you've got your tight possession over 80, ball control over 80, low pass over 85, speed, kick and power, acceleration, all very solid with the manager boost and with their own personal uh, boost as well. I definitely think that Beckenbauer's build is probably suited to a centre back, but if you've got better centre backs, it's going, be hard to, it's going to be hard to put him in. Now, one thing as well I want to talk about is the fact that he isn't the tallest centre back that's a build up, but with these skills, it will overcompensate for a lot. I'm going to put up a clip um, on my stream today where like because the game is animation based a lot of the time don't read too much into everything being like oh no wonder he's losing headers sometimes you'll just lose headers because you'll just lose headers you know um, aerial superiority and heading are definitely a must on this card sliding tackle and true passing I would definitely recommend as well I would say with Beckenbauer if I was to do a full review on him I think he's kind of like a solid 8 out of 10 there are better options there than him because all defenders and his main strengths are probably his speed and mobility compared to some other clunky center backs. But because the gameplay at the moment, anyone can catch anyone, the, a lot of his strengths are kind of like condensed into can he get on the ball and can he dominate on the ball for me? And that's kind of where it comes down from. Now, if you guys want to see the rest of these builds in this, Rashford, Modric, whoever, Davies, let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you think of Beckenbauer. How many spins did it take you to get him? You will get him. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.